Okay, you clicked on this thumbnail and now you're here ready to throw stones at my face because what the hell, I've always been told that I should use ULs or unordered lists for my site navigation and now this guy is telling me that I shouldn't. But why is he telling me? Because if I don't use a UL, I will have problems for screen readers, I will have accessibility issues. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, maybe that's what you think. Or maybe you think, hmm, stop using ULs. Maybe there's a better way. And of course there is. So let's have a look. And here I am in Bricks because I will use Bricks for the demonstration, but the same applies in any page builder, any framework, even in your Notepad if you are writing code in Notepad, because what we will discuss has to do with our HTML document structure and semantics. I have the Oxyprops plugin installed and I have the normalize stylesheet activated. I won't go in details about what is normalize, but this is an opinionated style sheet that gives basic styles to most HTML elements according to their meaning. And the style sheet does it so you don't have to worry about this. And for example, the style sheet applies styles to an ordered list because anybody, you, me, when we are talking about an unordered list, we are expecting to see a bullet list of elements. That's the meaning, that's the semantic behind an unordered list. So let's try create a site navigation very quickly by using the traditional UL element. So let's first insert a section with the tag of header. Inside of my header, I will add a container so it is boxed. I probably want an icon for my site logo and then I want to insert a grouping content which will be a nav. This will create the proper landmark and inside my nav this is where we usually throw an unordered list with list items and inside of those list items we have internal links. And we have a few of them. Okay, and now to make it look like a menu, I will take my container, I will make it a flex row, and I will take my UL, my menu, and I will also make it a flex row. And I probably shouldn't have duplicated so fast because there are a lot of words. Let's get rid of them very quick. And my link will be a single word. Okay, and now. I can duplicate my element. And that's it, we have a site navigation, but it's not looking great because we have chosen an unordered list and we have default unordered list styles applied with bullets, not very visible because of my choice of color, but maybe if I switch to light mode, you will see it better. So we have the bullet, we have paddings and margins. So the bullets stick out of our list items, so they are on top of the previous item, etc. And now you're thinking, I will add a lot of work to restyle these elements in a proper manner. Of course, if we look at our front end and inspect our document, we can see that we have the expected structure. We have a header, a nav, an unordered list with items that are our links. If we look at our accessibility tree, and refresh to get rid of the generic ones that are ignored. We can see that we have, except for the header, because I used a header inside of a Bricks page, and you know that because of the way Bricks handles things, everything in our page it is wrapped in a mail, so the header is not recognized as a proper Haria landmark. If you want to, you need to have your header in a header template in Bricks. Look at my previous video for that about uh, Aria landmarks, but Apart from this, we have a navigation landmark because of our nav tag, and then we have a list of items that are our navigation. Okay, so from a structure point of view, that's nice, but from a design point of view, we are having troubles because default for a UL, and let's add a new section. Imagine we are creating a section for our site and inside of this section, well, we have uh, our section header and we want to add a bullet list of features, items, services you offer, whatever. So here we will create an, an ordered list. We will add list items with whatever 
information you want inside of it. And let's say if we have five items, and this is what we expect from an, an ordered list. It's pre-styled with the proper bullets, the proper padding, the proper margin. So out of the box, because of normalize, it looks like an unordered list. And if you use the proper HTML tags, you don't have to worry about it, except if you want special, special styles to match your design. But that's another story. By default, we expect an unordered list to look like an unordered list. So then what about our site navigation? Does it mean that we have to deal with those styles and create special classes or styles or etc.? Well, this would be the hard way to do it. But the good news is that there are smart people working on web standards, on HTML standards, CSS standards, JavaScript standards, etc. And as you are a web developer, you don't just want to put your page builder elements in your canvas and make it look good. You want to have a proper HTML structure for your document. And of course, you want to achieve this with proper styles. And because technically we need to have an unordered list for our navigation, in particular for accessibility reasons, because when a screen reader, for example, or any assistive technology will encounter our navigation and a list, it will be announced as a list of elements with the number of items in our site navigation. So it's interesting to be identified as a list. But most of the time, you don't want to style a site navigation the same way you will style an unordered list. Because even if technically they will behave in a similar way, a site navigation and an unordered list don't have the same meaning. You don't expect to see the same thing when you have a navigation or a menu and when you have an unordered list. And for this reason, we have a specific HTML element, which is the menu element. And if you look at what it says, we are here on MDN. The menu element is described in the HTML specification, and we will have a look at it right after, very quick, as a semantic alternative to UL. But it is treated by browsers and exposed through the accessibility tree as no different than a UL. Okay, and if we look at the HTML standard for the menu element. This note here is what is important. The menu element is simply a semantic alternative to UL. So that's the exact same element. It's a semantic alternative because we want our HTML structure to carry meanings. So when we want to create a menu for our site, we should use the menu HTML element because this is the one that carries both the technical aspect of being an unordered list and the semantic meaning of being a menu. This was especially created for this use case. It's an unordered list of commands, a toolbar, site navigation. Okay, and the good news is that the normalized style sheet, or if you are not using Octiprops in your own style sheets, you can target either the UL element or the menu element and give them specific styles attached to their meaning and style a UL as an unordered list by default and style a menu as a site navigation by default. So let's get rid of what's on this page. Maybe I will add a bit of padding block to my section so it's better. And now back to my container. I will once again insert a nav element. This will be the same one. And inside my nav, I will add, and this is in my semantic elements, part of my list category. It's even the first one. It's the menu element. And if you don't know how to create a menu element, if you don't have Octiprop and the structure builder, you can simply, in your nav, add an element, a div, and on your div, choose a custom tag and give it a tag of menu. And this will output a menu element in your HTML structure. And now inside of my menu, I can add list item and I choose the wrapper version because inside of it, I want to nest links. Once again, this is pre-made for you if you are using the structure builder. So let's add an internal link 
let's make this link a single word. Let's duplicate our list item a few times. And simply because we want an horizontal navigation and not a vertical one, for now this is a vertical navigation, I'll select my menu and I will give it a class of flex row. And with no additional styling, just because I use the proper HTML element, the menu element, even if this will be an unordered list, technically it is styled as a menu or as a navigation. Of course, these are minimal styles, but there's no bullet list. There's no additional padding to indent the list from normal text. There's just a small spacing between items because this is what we expect in a site navigation. And if we have a look at the front end and what it looks like, so if I just refresh, this is the element I just created. Let's first have a look with the standard document view. And we get what we expected. We have our header, we have our nav, and then we have our menu that is a menu element that looks like an unordered list of list items in our structure tree. It has the proper basic default styles. And if we look now at the accessibility tree and expand it, we have a navigation. And inside of this navigation, we have a list. It's identified as a list. And inside of that list, we have list items that are our menu items. So I hope this helps you. This highlights on a specific example, the importance of having the proper semantics, proper semantics in your HTML, but also we didn't have a look at it today, but proper semantics in your CSS. And by using the proper HTML tag, for creating an unordered list when you want either to create a site navigation or an actual unordered list, you will be able to target with your style the specific element and give a site menu styles that are adapted for a site menu and give your list styles that are adapted for list. And you will never have to fight anymore with conflicting styles between a UL you use for a menu and a UL you use for an actual bulleted list. Don't forget to like the video, to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.